Okay, so what you're going to need to be able to do this is the Console Tuner Titan 2. So the first thing you need to do is you need the Virtual Gamepad Emulation Framework. Uh, you can see this URL here, vigem.org. Uh, go to that website. And what this actually is, it's a driver for your system to emulate uh, a gamepad. So click on Downloads on download under production ready releases and the current version right now is 1.21.442 um, so on the github page you can go down and uh, save the exe file and save that and then once that's saved you want to run that so once you get that installed the next thing you're going to need is the software for your Titan 2. So again, this is software made by Console Tuner for the Titan 2. It's called GTuner 4. Um, you can just go to consoletuner.com uh, slash software slash GTuner 4. Um, you can easily just find it under Titan 2 and download. And from there, click download for Windows. Download it for you there. And once you have that downloaded, you can unzip this. Um, there's no actual installer. It's just a standalone program. So you can basically uh, drop it wherever you want. Um, so I'm going to extract that. Great. Uh, once it's extracted, you can run the program. And you get this window. So there's a, a lot of stuff here. Um, the first thing you want to do is click on device monitor and it's gonna be blank because you have nothing connected, of course. And then there's one little thing you need to set up and that's you go to tools, you go to preferences, click on devices, and this is the important part that makes all of this work. The show virtual controller configuration area on device monitor. Click okay, select that and click okay. And now all we gotta do is connect the Titan 2 device so on the back of the Titan 2 device, there are a, a couple USB ports and a SD slot. You want to connect the uh, program USB port. So I'll connect that now. And there you go. Um, now it's going to see the controller. Um, the next thing you can actually do to test to make sure this is all working is connect your Switch Pro Controller with USB to the input A on the Titan 2. I'll do that now. And now you can see uh, there's movement. Now to see the actual buttons that your Switch controller has, of course, is instead of automatic selection, change this to Nintendo Switch. And again, change this to Nintendo Switch. And so now everything's working. So that's great. So now what you can actually do um, is connect the uh, output on the back of the Titan 2 to directly to your Nintendo Switch, um, and you will be able to play your Switch games um, just like that. It's just working basically as a pass-through at this point. But to make the controller actually work, there are no gamepads connected, again, because it's a, just a pass-through. The program slot is just for programming your Titan 2 other than this one really cool feature I'm about to show you. So go back into GTuner, and we selected in the preferences that we wanna see the virtual controller. So that's what this uh, window here is. That would, normally wouldn't show up at all if we hadn't selected that. And all we have to do is we can see our input is going to output to an Xbox 360 controller. Click Run. Can see down here now device monitor virtual controller running and then you can go back to your browser up back to gamepad viewer and i'll just refresh this and press a button on your controller and you need to make sure you select your player number so in this case player number one and look we have a controller so this is my switch controller working just fine as you can see Obviously the skin is wrong, but in my case, I actually have a 
Nintendo Switch skin that I've purchased from Jay on the Discord. Uh, link in the description below for our Discord server. I'll go ahead and grab that URL from my custom skin. So now what we can do is we can go up to the menu, we can generate URL. I can paste in my custom CSS. And we can copy and paste that URL. And now we've got our pro controller. So this is a skin made by Jay. Again, uh, from the gamepad viewer discord, I'll leave a link to our discord in the description. Um, if you have your X and Y and B and A buttons reversed, that's no big deal. You can just use the standard uh, button mapping within gamepad viewer to, to fix that, to reverse it. So now what we can do is we can copy the URL and we can go into our OBS and we can add a new browser source. We'll call it controller, paste in the URL here. We'll change this. I usually change it to about a thousand by 750. And hit a button. And now we've got our controller. Um, you can resize this and put it wherever you like on the window. And you can see our pro controller is working. Now this is the wired version. Um, if you want it to be wired, you can stick around for part two. Thanks for watching.